Hi Virgo, welcome to QVC HSN. <laughs> because I gotta tell you about the wonderful, amazing product that we have. First, before we start the reading, because the reading is long anyway, okay? So it's back, okay? And it's new. It's the love one. We're gonna be coming up with each, you know, new boxes every time, okay? So this is, I have the rose quartz and I'm wearing already this wonderful. Um, I forgot what it's called, but uh, lip, I don't know, it starts with L, okay? It comes with label, it's just so scientific, okay? And I'm not smart, okay? And it comes in a box, so you get all those things, and, you know, it has a multivite spray. It's the affirmation elixir that comes with, okay, this one. I sprayed it, and it gets, it went into my glasses. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. So check that out. Also, you know that it comes with a seven-day... Um, free trial for um, my, my astrology app that I'm using um, for a daily planner, okay? Because that one can get you, you know, the transit um, base uh, report based on your chart. You don't have to wait for me to tell you what's going to happen. It will tell you there. Mercury retrograde, this, eclipse, this, and it has rituals, it has remedy. You can watch the end of the video. It will tell you what, what comes with it, okay? So that's that. Let's start your reading. Where I go? Let's see what's going on. No cross-watching. We focus on your zodiac. Sometimes the reading becomes spicy over here. So I warn you. Okay. It's also mature content. I hope the kids are already asleep. It is tarot after dark. I hope the teens have done and help you with the dishes, though. Okay? And if they don't, you know what they'd say. Boogeyman. <laughs> you don't scare the teens, okay? Here we go. Let's see. Oh, wow. You got the card that the Leo keeps avoiding. No, because in their reading, they can be happy. Like, have everything they want. Oh, in their reading. You have, you have a connecting card. So you, you have here nine of cups. I put it in the side because I won't be able to put the, um, the thing. Okay, nine of cups. Huh. Love, love, love. You're loving yourself. I feel like you're learning to enjoy, you know, the real things in life. See, the thing with happiness, since it's very subjective, different people become happy with different things. Um, once you realize that little things is what matters, then every day is a living bliss. Yes. Mm hmm Like, you know, having some good meal. Not everybody will appreciate that, but if you learn to live with that meal, like, wow, this is such happiness, you know. You're reading a good book. Okay. Watching a good movie. The real things. Not the million dollar in the bank account, but of course, nine of cups. Let's wish for that, right? Why not? It does give you smile. Why not? Mm. It can just be gardening. You know, it makes you happy right now. It's something that is your, that's your soul um, always makes, a, that your soul becomes enriching. That's happiness. So if your soul becomes, you know, like, uh, you know, for lack of a better term, like it gains its, uh, I don't know, like it's becoming bigger and stuff like that. Uh, then that's good, you know. For me, Nine of Cups is like, you know, if I can just work all day, every day. <laughs> no, 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 that's, my, that's not my happiness. I'm happy with my work, that's the thing. Okay. So, Nine of Cups. Continue doing it, Virgo. I like that you're, you're focusing on your inner joy and inner peace and inner happiness. And soon, your inner beauty will come out. No, of course you're always beautiful. You guys are, you guys are the virgin of the zodiac. Beauty.
Oh my dear lord. Okay. Well, it's good that you got a Nine of Cups because whoever you're dealing with, they're the opposite. They're the Ten of Swords. The person feels defeated by you. Okay. So it appears, sorry, I just have to look. I thought someone, second editor. Uh, Ten of Swords. It appears that they feel defeated by your success. They did. They do say, you know, success is the best revenge. But you're not doing that. You're actually just being happy with no intention to make them feel bad. But it's the guilt that is eating them up from the inside. For me, I would like to eat a donut. But for them, it's their guilt. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, Ten of Swords. So I'm not sure what they did to you. But now, they have to face their own fear. Okay. Mm. Nine of Cups with a Seven of Swords. Ouch. Ten of Swords. Now, if they broke up with you, now they regret it. If they betrayed you, now they regret it. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Wow, but they won't admit it. Excuse me. Oh, five of swords. Okay, five of swords with the ten of swords. Their ego is uh, what they're facing right now. This person will die before they can talk to you. That's what they're gonna do. Sadly, the person, you know, even though they should see the love inside them for you, what they're seeing is like you step on them. You, you know, like your victory again is something that is for them, like you're attacking them. Mind you, you're not doing anything again. I don't sense it. It's intentional. You're just realizing that I can be happy and single and what's wrong with that? Mm -hmm. Nothing is wrong with that. So the person can be happy for you. Yeah, don't think so. Six of Swords. Um, they feel that you have walked away from them so fast, so soon, or you have gotten over them so fast, so soon. It looks like it, but it wasn't. You had, you had feelings for this person with the Six of Swords that you never told them. You were in pain that they were not talking to you. You had to be the one putting the effort. I see it here. But then, you know, this person drove you away and now they can't see you. Mm -hmm. That's what this person is. Drove you away and now they can't see you. Okay. Oof. So this person, you got a lot of swords here, folks. It's not good. There's a lot of mental and speech and talk in between the two of you. This person is about to, you know, become, in a way, your worst. Well, they were your worst already, I mean, with these cards, because you got a seven of swords. Um, they will take back what you have in a way. I don't know why they hate you. Um, again, it's your own success. So with the seven of swords there, it's like when, they want to start a fight with you there. They want to take back your peace, your happiness, and they want to ruin the parade. Because you're, you're having an awesome life here. Sometimes some people cannot be happy for you. And this is one of those. Wonder why, you know. I hope all my exes... That's a long line. <laughs> no <I'm> kidding. <laughs> I always wish them well. Yeah. In the deep well. <laughs> and I go like, hello, hello, hello. And I drop a coin. Bye. <laughs> no, 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 no. We love our exes here. Okay. That's why okay, we always wish them well. <laughs> okay. Soon the glamour box will come with a pepper spray for your ex. <laughs> Kidding. I'm making you laugh. You're going through something here. Okay. Got a nine of wands. Well, they're going through something. 
Oh wow, are you connected with the Leo? Because oh no, this came in the no not no contact, I think, in the soul to soul. Nine of Cups to the Nine of Wands, it fe it feels that you have um fought your way out of this connection. It means it didn't come easy for you to let go of them. It's the truth. You fought your way out and you were successful and you find your happiness. Yes, that's a nine of cups. So that's good. Nine of cup nine of wands also is you have restricted any kind of contact with them. That's one thing. You've also, I feel, um, managed to uh, how to say this like you're a self-made person like you work hard where you're at right now in your career and you know it's like you're a person who does not give up okay okay i'm gonna get a ten of swords we got a seven of coins Aha. they're waiting for you Mm-hmm. Well, they're waiting for you. What do you have that they want you back? Is it because you're happy and you're doing well? Is that what they want from you? Seven of Pentacles? I'd stay away from this person right now. I don't sense that they're good. Mm-hmm. Underneath the Five of Swords is the King of Cups. Okay. So they claim that they love you and they want to win you back. At all costs. No matter what happened. They want to win you back. It appears that this person does not know what is love. Because for them, love is something that they... They use it to manipulate people. And... Because the King of Cups to the Five of Swords is like they use love, but that's war. So, as a leverage, they use commitment as a leverage, you know, like that kind. It's a tool for them. And you told this person, Nine of Wands, like, no, I'm not going to be used like that. So, they can be um, emotionally blackmailing you with the King of Cups and the Five of Swords. Yeah, that's emotional blackmail. And they're waiting for you to just uh, open up again. Mm hmm. Underneath the Six of Swords, we got a Seven of Cups. So you try to understand if this person was dishonest and if they're seeing other people, why they left you with the Six of Swords, Seven of Cups. You were trying to figure it out. I'm not sure that you, if you have figured it out, but definitely you were just confused also. Like there were things not adding up anymore. One story to the other, their intention to you and how, you know, and what their action is. Things just not tie up anymore. You got a seven of cups. Mm hmm Things does not add up. You see that? Mm. You know, for a minute there, Virgo, I was looking at my audio and I said, it's like, wait, is there no audio? <laughs> Mercury retrograde, there is. <laughs> You know, as a joke, like, we're all adults here, right? You know, like when they say that the guys, their balls go up here. Yeah, my balls was up here already. I cannot do this again. Oh my god, oh maybe nervous. Okay, here we go. Because you're halfway. You got a six of coins and a seven of swords. Um, they'll text you, they'll message you. Excuse me. Um, they're gonna reach out. You have you probably have some belongings from them. You have some properties. You you guys you guys have something that is linked to each other. Okay, that's a six of pentacles. So for them, they're not done with you. They're not done with you. But it doesn't look like a reconciliation. They just don't know when you want when you say no is a no. You know, it's like mm hmm. Okay. Let's see. Queen of Coins. Well, you're working hard for the money. 
that's good. You're working hard for the business, stability, independence in your car- you know, in your uh, career wise. Um, you're trying to you know get as much savings. You're trying to fatten the bank account. That's good. You're putting your money away. That's good. You're being a smart adult. Okay. Under the seven of coins, the four of cups. Yep, they are miserable. They're probably drinking their feelings out, waiting for you. This person is in their doom gloom right now. They're not in their best space. I mean, they are the ten of swords, so they are very, very much into their feelings, anxiety, and stress, and they can't go anywhere. Mm hmm. Let's see. Under the King of Cups is the Wheel of Fortune. Mm. <sighs> Sometimes people just don't stop. And this is one of those. They're coming. King of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. I don't like it because it's with the Five of Swords. You know, because they use emotional manipulation, right? Oh, if you're not with me, I'm going to be sad. Oh, if you're not with me... And, oh my God. You know, mm -mm. With the Wheel of Fortune, you know... They got, because it's a cycle, so they will they will spin this whole story again and again until you basically get more confused and accept them. Mm. You got a judgment. So what do I do, Sal? What do I do? I'm confused. They want to reconcile. They want to come back. What do I do? Under the six of coins, the emperor. Well, you have someone who's controlling, that's one thing. They're the boss, that's an emperor. Six of coins, that's them saying, it's like, what's mine is mine. So that's you. They're declaring you as theirs is theirs. Judgment is, no, you don't. Mm -hmm. Under the queen of coins, the three of wands. What are you expecting? There's something that you're expecting. Okay. Well, you're expecting this person to come to you. That's one thing. And with the King and Queen of Cups, okay. I feel like you still love them. I'm not here to disagree or agree, but you already know that they're an emotional manipulator. Yes, it is your counterpart. With the Queen of Wands though, they cheat. So it's up to you. Yes, it's your partner who cheats. That's a mistress. The moon with the judgment, you found out about the truth that they were hiding stuff. The chariot, they're coming for you. So the person who has emotionally manipulated you, lied to you, who's going through their stress and anxiety and depression, wants you back while they're keeping their queen of wands and still keep secret from you. Okay, I see you. Okay, that that's what it is. So let me see. Because you still, you're still reeling them in though. I mean, if it's a thing, this is your thing right now. Because the three of ones are expecting them to like, well, if they're going to want to come to me, they can come to me. But there's also queen of ones. There's also coming from someone else. Okay. So let me continue this reading. Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Capricorn. Okay. Virgo. All right. That's most of the zodiac I can see. Everything is going to be in the description box below down there. Have a one. Oh, next to this is the tutorial. For the app check that out it's very very nice okay so that you know what you can get by downloading that app have a wonderful wonderful day and i'll see you guys again this is your tire after dark the best thing once you have downloaded your align 27 app for your seven day free trial is that the home screen that you have has all this information about your mornings your timeline and this way you can be guided during the day when you click your day for example as far as your friday it would show a green day when you click your saturday you will see there that it is a red day now each color would have a different definition. You can see here that if we go back to Thursday, it's an amber day. And if it's an amber day, 
you can click here and you can click see all and then it can show you that there are different timings during the day which can show productivity, golden moments, silence moments throughout your whole day. If you click golden, it can also sum up everything for that whole day, what you can do during those hours. And each one is divided ahead of you, so you will know and you will have a better understanding on how to plan your day. And this is when you are in your homepage. It is a very amazing app for your planning for the whole day.